Welcome to episode 5 of... It has been a little while since we have gotten together, but that's okay because it means we've been doing projects. So I should be painting happens when I should be painting, but guess what? I've been painting. You know what I've been painting? Well, let's see. I did the Adepticon display board, um, three Adepticon armies, and currently I am working on a Dalek Necron army. And you probably can't see this too well. That's okay, because there's going to be a lot of videos on this Dalek Necron army. You probably hear robotic sounds right now. You hear that? That is the 3D printer. It is printing me more Daleks. Now, why did I start the 3D printer just as I was about to record this episode? I don't know. That was kind of silly, but I can't really stop it now, and I have five hours and nine minutes left remaining on this print, so there's going to be some weird noises in the background. Today, though, we have some fantastic things for you. We are going to be spending a little bit of time on this webpage, Industrial Mechanica, and I found this through Tested, specifically through a book, which we're going to talk about after we look at this web page. Um, and that book is an instruction manual for painting actually this fish sub right there. I bought those books and then I went to the website to find out what you can get. Now these are garage kits. These are enthusiasts who make miniatures. And let me tell you something, they have some amazing miniatures. And you'll notice that this one is 1 35th scale. 1 35th scale is very close to 40k. It's not exactly. 40k doesn't have actually one specific scale. Their vehicles are a different scale than their troops and you know they kind of make changes and embellishments. Anyways, 135th is very close. So if you did want to get some cool models to use in your 40k army, um, you could definitely do that here. But if you just want some really awesome models to paint and collect, you can definitely do this here. So Industrial Mechanica and we're going to take a look at some stuff. Uh, this one is out of stock, which is sad, but it's a really cool fighter plane. And I don't know, it says 172nd scale, so I assume it's kind of small. Um, maybe it would work for X-Wing. I don't know. I don't care. It's gorgeous. Next thing we're going to look at is, oh, look at this. The Horn Thopter. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. Like, you're telling me that you don't want to make and paint that? I mean, look at It's freaking amazing. Okay. I'm going to stop freaking out about it. What well, This is 135th scale, by the way. So that person here is going to be pretty close to a 40k miniature. So I, I don't know what you could use this for. Who cares? It's a freaking mechanical wasp helicopter. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. They're not cheap, though. 80 bucks. We're going to take a look at the Gorilla. This is the one that I purchased. I have it right down there. Um, and I'm going to do an unboxing for them. I also purchased the Zero Fighter Robot. I just think this thing is really cool. It's really, really cool. Let's open. Let's just do some opening. Um, so you know they are like resin casts, and there's a lot of parts in here. I mean, a lot. Here, you know what? Let's take a look at the scale right now. See, I should be painting. I should be painting this. You know what? Maybe when I'm done with this, I will start on it. All right. Here's a cockpit, okay? So, if that's the cockpit, and this is a space marine, they are pretty close to the right size, which is excellent, excellent, okay? So if I wanted to do something cool and like, I don't know, I could see making this into an orc thing, um, or just, Use as a crisis suit. I don't know. I, you know, why am I trying to justify this? I, they're cool miniatures, and I wanted them, and I bought them, and I'm sharing them with the world because they're awesome, and you guys will probably like them too. Um, they also have decals. So these are nice because um, they're not, you know, they're different things. 3D printer. Shh. 3D printer. Shh. Uh, you know, like they're just, they're nice decals. If you want, if you want some different decals, we'll go back. Cause I got, I got a couple sheets. Um, oh, these are really cool. So these are like 
little gauges and displays and uh, you could put these in your airplanes. Anyways, suitable for all scales, okay? All scales. All right, next up, we are going to Rinaldi Studio Press. And I'm not even sure I really want to tell you about this because um, it's kind of really upped my game and I'm sort of giving away like some secret sauce here, but I'm not going to keep it all to myself. This is a master miniature painter. Just look at this thing in front of you. And what he has produced is a series of books to teach you how to paint in this amazing, amazing style. Now, he is not a 40K painter, okay? Let's just be clear. He is a miniature painter that paints miniatures like the ones that we find on Industrial Mechanica. But that's okay because his books are suitable for anything. Um, what he's doing is he's creating some of these. They're called SM.01. They're about six inches by six inches. And these are specific books for painting a specific model that you can buy on, guess what, Industrial Mechanica. But he also has these books called Tank Art. And Tank Art uh, are all these books here. Okay, and look, there's, there's more coming. I mean, they do sell out. And they are incredible, all right? Let me tell you, I have one in three. These books are amazing. Now, he does use acrylic for a lot of the weathering, but most of his washes are actually oil-based, which is really interesting. I've never done oil-based, but I've learned so much from reading these books. And let me tell you, like, his stuff is gorgeous. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you want me to say? You know, he's a master. He's a mess. Look at, look at this. I want all my rhinos to look like this. Like now, like now. Okay. So you can actually buy this. I guess you can buy his paint. I guess he sells his stuff for $800 because why not? It's fantabulous. Yeah. So Rinaldi Studio Press. You can check him out. I do recommend. Oh, right. All right. I almost forgot the, the most important thing. SMO3 is going to be a Gundam guide, and you can buy it at Industrial Mechanica um, now. It's 20 bucks. It's pre-order, okay? But this is going to be really, really suitable to 40K. I mean, look at that. Like, oh, I'm going to paint my knights. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to paint some knights, and I'm going to paint some crisis suits. And I'm going to get really mad at this 3D printer for doing all of its fun robot things. I'm not mad at you, printer. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, Rinaldi Studio Press. Um, the modeling news, right? So, you can just get a bunch of modeling news. This is something that I found last night that I had no idea about. So, I bought a lot of... Sisters of Silence. I mean, I bought a lot, but I also bought a lot for sale, like a group of sale. So I bought um, 25 Sisters of Silence, and I didn't realize how complicated these things were to put together. Like, they are really, really complicated. And because I bought them as, like, uh, a bunch of those boxes that were opened and sent, they didn't send me the instructions. And so I was Googling for instructions, and I ran across this Reddit page. And this is pretty much every single possible instruction manual that you can ever think of for like any Warhammer. Any of them. Sisters of Battle, Rhino, and Emulator. Like, what do you want? You need one? You missing one? Like, there you go. You can just go to this Reddit page, which is absolutely incredible. And it is reddit.com slash r Warhammer instructions. Hey, that's pretty simple yeah so um i think in episode one or two we featured some work from dimacon and he was kind enough to send me a link to his video uh for all of these guys and they are super pretty so i thought that i would share it um his work is amazing and he asked me to give a shout out to his youtube channel so i'm doing that Everybody needs to go to this YouTube channel and subscribe. You can find the link in the comments, but his name is Demacon, D-A-E-M-O-N-I-C-O-N. Look at his gun barrels. Super great. Super, super great. And purple and white and gold, come on. That's like the best. 
the best. Lastly, I have four pictures from Bruner, Bruno, Bruner, Bruno. I don't remember if I showed this project before already, but it's incredible. He's been sending me some updates on it. This guy's amazing. Like this building with the custom green stuff and the roofs, like absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see it till it's finished. He also sent me these pictures of really cool bases. So these are like some snow and ice bases that he's been making. Um, and yeah, they're really pretty. They also have LEDs in them because obviously snow and ice in the 41st millennium glows in the dark. Like that's just obvious. So that's all I got for you this week. This has been Aaron from the Cool Guys Nation. Keep on working, keep on painting, and I will see you guys next time.